All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Week nine. Um, this is the week before Thanksgiving. So we are going to start our project today, Friday. Um, the project is the same for ET120 and GE115. So if you're in both those classes, you can use your GE115 skills to do the project, and that will work for ET120. In other words, it's a twofer, uh, one project for two classes. So if you're not in uh, GE115, then the expectation is different. Uh, you don't know AutoCAD, you haven't had it. I understand that there'll be manual drawing. So I haven't looked to see that everybody's in both. I don't think everybody is in both. So uh, use your skill sets uh, based on your knowledge. Uh, if you don't know computer aided drawing, then don't use that. Um, if you do know it, then do use it and uh, submit to both classes. Okay. Uh, if you're in both classes, use your project. Uh, I do expect that a project that gets submitted in both classes is a little more advanced than the project potentially that is just submitted from one class. All right, so let's talk about the project. Um, the details of what you have to do physically on paper or in the software is in Blackboard. So you can refer to that for all the kind of nitty gritty details. And if you have any questions, you need to email me and I'll answer those questions, okay? But the project is uh, a homeless shelter. It's a deployable, easily assembled homeless shelter. I know you've all seen the folks living out on the streets. I don't know how to solve that problem. Um, that is, one of our great problems to solve, and I'm sure some engineers will solve that problem. Uh, social scientists will figure it out. But for now, I can't drive by those folks without feeling like uh, they need shelter. So uh, some of their shelters are very rough um, indeed. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna design a shelter that can be manufactured and assembled, deployed and assembled on cold nights, and we have a lot of cold nights coming up. So I know you're not design engineers. I get that. Um, I think you want to be, though. You're in engineering, and this is something that you should like to do. That's a problem to solve. So uh, do your best on this. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not grading your design. I'm grading uh, how you share your design with me, uh, how you build your drawings, uh, how you build your spreadsheet how you build your Word document and share that with me, okay? Um, and those of you uh, in GE115, if you're not in ET120, then you haven't had Word and Excel, and I understand that. So um, you can build those documents however you'd like. Okay, so let's talk about this. It is a portable homeless, shelter. Now, if you if you do research, which all good engineers would, you're going to go online and see some of these, okay? Don't just copy one. You're going to have to come up with your own. Um, I'm okay with any manufacturing process. In other words, uh, it could be built out of wood by people. Um, that'd be fine. It could be built out of plastic by companies that do injection molding. That's fine, too. I don't really care about the manufacturing process. Um, it can't be extreme. In other words, I am, am saying that it's gotta be out of materials that are available. So you have to use available materials. In other words, you can't go too exotic on me like uh, space shuttle um, heat shield type material, right? Uh, just available uh, in our area. We want this sustainable and cheap and simple. So we want it simple. When I say sustainable, that means I want it to be able to be used out of materials that we can recycle and that we can local source. So that's just one of the small pieces of sustainability. If you're taking ET210 next term, we will talk a lot about sustainability in engineering design. So it's a great class. All right, so simple, um, which means that you're gonna easily assemble it, okay?
Uh, portable means that we should be able to get a lot of them on a truck, a little flatbed truck or a big flatbed truck, with lots of them, you know, 20, 30 of them on a truck. Okay, so it's got to be light, not heavy. Um, we need six foot six sleeping room. And we want it to be air tight. Okay, so homes aren't even airtight, right? My home right here, it's not airtight. So that's within reason airtight. In other words, you can't have big gapping holes or big gapping cracks. We want it to seal up. The wind blows, it's super cold out there. If you can get a human out of the wind in a shelter, they have you know, an 80% chance of survival. If, if you don't get them into a shelter, if you just leave them out and exposed, then there's a high probability that they're not going to do well. All right. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to confine this to, um, you know, a certain type of material or a certain design. Uh, it does need to have at least three parts three different parts, and that's so you can do the three different drawings uh, on individual parts. Most of the time, uh, these things are going to have a lot of different parts. Um, that's fine. It can have more than three, and you don't have to do details on every part. You only have to do details on at least three parts. Um, but make those parts maybe simple, um, you know, moderately complex, and one hard part to draw. Don't just do three simple parts. You want to take this opportunity to show me that you learned something in this class and that you have some new skill sets to, to demonstrate. So demonstrate those, right? Uh, I've given you a lot of time for this project, so I expect you to put some time in. All right. I think that pretty much does it. Um, do research. I encourage that. Um, there are some of these systems out there, not many of them being used by cities, but uh, let's, let's try to come up with a new one, okay? All right, again, if you have any questions, uh, if you need clarity on the requirements which are on Blackboard, let me know and uh, I can get back to you. You're going to have uh, through the holiday break um, for it to be completed. So uh, you'll have Friday... Monday, Tuesday of normal class days. And then Wednesday through Friday, we're off, or Wednesday through Sunday, we're off for the Thanksgiving break. And then they'll be due that following uh, Monday, I believe. So check the calendar, check the due dates, and uh, communicate with me. All right, take care.